friends, it's me, your favorite messy hair YouTuber who just went to Home Goods and Michael's and got a lot of stuff that I wanted to show you guys. So the past week, I've been going like nonstop holiday shopping, just trying to decorate my house, trying to get it like all holiday ready. I like to decorate early so I can just like enjoy the decor longer. And also things are gonna get even crazier. So like I wanna do this stuff now. Just gonna take all this stuff apart and I wanted to do a DIY. So on my dining table right now, I have some spring decor. Like there's flowers and there's succulents. There are a lot of succulents in my house and I'm trying to get rid of them and replace them with some frosted pine. So this is the centerpiece that I got for my table. But as you can see, it's pretty lame. It's boring. I mean, it's kind of cool, but it, it needs some more. So the first thing I got were socks and these aren't just any socks. Look at them. They are the plushest, fluffiest socks I've ever seen. I really hope they're not itchy though. It's that time where you gotta stock up sock stocking season. Where you stock up on socks. They're really soft. I'm just worried they're gonna be itchy. Oh, those are toasty. Dog bed because every time I go to Home Goods, I have to get a dog bed. And I needed a red one because I don't have a red one. They have a ton of beds. It's unreasonable how many dog beds we have around the house. Like every room gotta have like two or three dog beds. So here we go. Super cute. And I'm gonna put it by the couch. Put it on your bed! So I got this one last month. Oh my god, it's like the same thing, but one's black and one's red. But this one here, there's so much fur to pick up. Oh, so festive. Bedtime. This one's going in the bedroom now. I think the tree is basically complete. I'm not crazy about fancy plates, but these made me crazy about fancy plates. Cause like, look at this. This is grandma's fine china over here for only $4.99 each plate. Oh, you guys can see the reflection. I am in love with these. Super cute. I got a set of four. Are these the same color? Are they like slightly off? One looks slightly more silver than the other. I don't know. They got like a bird and some flowers and they're just really fancy. Y'all like, okay, boomer. Nice plates is such a boomer thing. Ooh, it even says on the back, fine china. It's gold plated. Ooh, I mean, this was only $5.99 and the little ones were $4.99. And then you put them like this. So you serve the appetizer and then take away this plate and then eat on the big plate. Is that how you're supposed to do it? Cause we don't do that. Nobody got time for that in their own house. Man, I'm trying to eat and be done. All right, so that's the set I got. You know what? I don't have any fancy plates, so. It's Costco paper plates or these. So last year, I kind of went crazy with these and bought like seven of them to put around my house, but this one is so cute. Like, I couldn't resist. I was like, I sh probably shouldn't buy so many of these, but this one, it's like ceramic, but it looks like tree bark. And this was only $8. Like, this was so cheap. And it's frosted. She'd be looking thick and it's just very cute. I love just having a ton of trees around the house. Some people might think it's a little too early to have things covered in snow right now. During the day, it's still like 80 degrees here. So I don't know. I'm trying to get in the holiday spirit. It's so cute. Oh my God. I already have so many of these. Where should I put this one? I might put this one in the kitchen. Next, I got these candles. These are $10, but they're the fancy LED kind of can. Oh, these are so cheap and plasticky looking. I hate it. It don't even turn on. Oh, okay. Houston, we got light. So these are part of the centerpiece. They're the only candles that I could find that perfectly fit inside that. So we're gonna DIY that one of them. Showing you all of these. Next up, I got these from Michaels. They're basically some pine trees with some acorns and they have snow on them. Don't worry, vegans, it's fake snow. I was gonna try to make them part of the centerpiece. I don't know. I honestly still don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe put it like this under the table. Eh, I don't know. I'll figure something out. Okay, I saw this and I was like, I have to have it. I have to have it. It's one of those things you put cookies in or pastries or what is it called? Fancy patisserie jar. And it's bedazzled in rhinestones. Evan hated this, but I had to have it. I needed one of these because I made coffee cake the other day and I was like, hey, instead of wrapping my coffee cake in some foil, I don't know, or making some ugly leftovers or forgetting about it, I could just like 
put it in this thing if I had one and just leave it on the counter, so. Tis the season to have snacks on the island. I want to make several snack stations for when people come over. This is kind of ugly, but it's gonna be covered when I put anything on it. So there's just still more stickers. This was $30, that's expensive, but I feel like everything else I got was pretty reasonably priced. You know, if you buy all this stuff from like a Macy's or something, it's hella expensive. What sucks about Home Goods is all the stickers they put on everything. And they're not even like the easy peel stickers. Your girl's struggling. Okay, I got the sticker off. I just rinsed the whole thing because I'm probably making cookies right after this. I'm gonna put them in here. Is this necessary to clean? I think I'm just gonna wipe it down real quick. Imagine trapping an ant in here to see how long they would last. Man, this is enough air for an ant for a lifetime. I think they'd be okay. Okay, Home Goods had so many of these and I have to get one every year. They're Christmas tree candles. But look at this one. This one's pretty because it had like silver beads or ornaments or whatever all over it. You know, I don't actually like these. Ugh. That's the nastiest smelling candle I've ever smelled, but I don't think it's meant to be lit. This is the only tree that's not meant to be lit. I mean, you could. I don't want to. I don't like lighting candles that don't smell. If it don't smell like butter pecan, then what's the point? This vase is really pretty. I don't have a spot for it yet, but I will. It's basically silver with a bunch of specks of gold paint in it. Hello! Similar to the texture of a golf ball, but as a vase. Vase, vase, whatever you want to call it. This was $8. Wow! This sticker, literally the only sticker that I'll never see that I didn't even have to take off, came off with one fell swoop. Oh, part of the collection of fine china. I got this ginormous serving plate and I think I'll use this more than I will the other plates because I don't have a large serving plate, so. This one was expensive. This one was $14.99, which is weird because the big plates were like $6, so. I don't know, it doesn't really make much sense to me. Home goods, go off, get your coin. Those all have to be washed. Next up is my haul from Michaels. And oh my God, look how cute this bag is. I got this for $14. Everything I got here in this bag was $30 with my coupon. So this is just stuff that I might use for the centerpiece from my table. Maybe I won't use it. I don't know. I'm gonna figure something out. Basically, I got this. I don't even know what to call these. I call these cranberries. So cranberry wire. You can unravel it and I don't know, put it somewhere. I don't wanna unravel. <gasps> Some cracks. This is very tangled and I'm very impatient when it comes to untangling things So I just usually pull it and break it But for the sake of this video, we can't afford to be reckless. So I'm trying to untangle it. Okay. Okay. We're getting somewhere We're getting oh wait, so it's not like a string Man down. We lost the cranberry. Okay, so it's like a branch. How did nature do that? <gasps> All right, here we go. We have it untangled and this is what it looks like. Kind of stupid. Anyways, the other thing I got were these little clusters. So Michaels has a lot of these so many little clusters that you just like plop into a vase or one of those plant sponges and you just call it a day. Like it just, it's a cluster of pretty stuff. This one has an apple and an acorn and I thought it was very cute and it kind of matched the gold. But now that I'm looking at it, not really. I don't know, a lot of it was sold out because they just had a big sale. So I had to make do with what I could find. Hopefully this one is easier to untangle than the one that I just tried. Ooh, okay, that one's much easier. We might use this. Keep that in mind. And then I just have this really nice knitted basket. Oh, it's basically rope. It's like a rope basket. I love this. On my island, I like to have a box or a bag or something just to put my keys, my sunglasses, all the clutter. Right now I have them in like Halloween bowls and I need to get rid of the Halloween bowls because that was weeks ago. And then I might just use this because it's cute. Let's try to DIY. So here is my completed tree. We decided to go with, it's like a frosted tree. We got this off Amazon. I got most of the ornaments from Michaels and then these ones from Target. I just love the spiky ones. They look like snow, but they also look like spike bombs. Wow, now I can see how horrible these white hooks look, but I put up four stockings that I got from Target. I've never had a mantle before, so we just kind of had to like stick them. I mean, these ones, you can't really see them, but the white ones, I hung those up first and then I'll probably change them out. So I have this hanging chair over here and I just got a thing of lights that are on like a really skinny copper wire and I just wrapped it around the chair and now it looks festive. I'm trying to figure out what to do for this centerpiece. Does that look stupid? Yeah, because I can see the twigs. I mean, no, but I'm covering it. Then it's fine. Okay, maybe we'll do that last. We'll maybe not use these. So there's a few things that I could do. I could use this, wrap this around. 
or I have this. So I could stick these or put them around. The cranberries are look pretty good. I feel like that's too much, too many cranberries. Too many cranberries? I can take them off, I'm gonna cut them. Oh, I like this definitely. You don't have to do the cranberries. Eat the cranberries out of here. I like this, and I think this is probably the easiest to work with. So I'm basically just gonna do like a loop-de-loop, -loop, start it over here. I mean, you could glue them. I don't have glue on me at the moment, so I'm just gonna put it through like this. Ooh, it's like the perfect length. I think that's cute. Okay, okay, that works. I didn't even have to tie this. Oh, because this one has a longer side, so I might tie it. And then I think I'm just gonna plop these in somehow. So the bottoms of these are green, so we want to hide that. So I'm just gonna try to loop it around and put it on the spots that really need it. She'd be looking a little bald on the ends. Should I put the cranberries on it or no? Oh, no, baby. Baby. <gasps> So I'm gonna just slide this under and just tuck it in. The problem is this piece. This has like a really long stick. You should cut it. You can't cut this because it's wire. You can't cut it with regular scissors. I saw a comment on the video today. It said, Leah, regular. Me, as an intellectual, regular. It's too big, I feel. Yeah, yeah, it's too big. I'm gonna take these off. I think maybe the holly. Is it holly? What is it called? I don't know. You should know. Santa? No. I feel like I should take some of this and add it. Let me put candles first. Clock. Clock. I don't think I want to bother turning them on no. because you have to like use this little switch. Now we have one lone candle. Oh, if I put it around, I think it would be really cute. Ugh. I think it's starting to look good. All right, ignore the mess on the table, but I think this came out really nice. I'm really happy with it. It definitely looks way nicer than any of the centerpieces that I saw already made in the store. And also they're expensive. So the candle holder was $20. The set of candles were $10. And then everything I got from Michael's was $33. So about $40 for this, which I think is pretty good. Obviously the candles could have been way cheaper if you got regular candles. Okay, so I have all of this clutter and like these Halloween holders things. My mento, sunglasses, keys, headphones. So we're gonna get rid of this one. And I think I'm gonna use this one to store some stuff in it until I find some flowers to put in it. So just basically all the clutter on oh, my lotion. Put that in here too. Oh no, goodbye pumpkin. I think all my keys will go in that one. And then I think we'll get rid of these until next year. Goodbye. <laughs> This is what I have on my coffee table right now. I have like a fluffy pumpkin and I got this snowflake. I think that was from Michael's. And then some cotton roses that I got for my birthday. It's not a real pumpkin! Oh, and my shoes, they're so sparkly. So I took some cranberries and wrapped them around the candle and these little candle holders. I got these from at home and you plug them in, they light up. It comes as a set of three and they're really cute. I'm trying to have a red and white look going on over here. I know it's messy because we were watching TV yesterday. I got this from Home Goods. It's super soft and I love like this sweater print. This is Ash, she's a puppy. And by my front door, I have these two Christmas trees. They're the skinny ones and you can plug it in. I didn't realize that this would be really ugly, like the wire. And like this tree doesn't even have anywhere that I could plug it in. But it's so cute, but only one lights up. So basically I have to take that one, take a wire, drag it all the way here, plug it in there. But anyways, that's all for today. I have to go clean up all of this glitter and everything all over my counter, all over my table. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want more holiday videos like this, make sure you hit that like button in the face. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.